Hi, it's Kevin, and welcome back to the Open Source Marketing Dojo. This video is going to be a real quick one. I had a question from a user uh, that I have about customizing the forms that come out of Modic. And there are more than one way to, to skin a cat when it comes to any type of online thing. I want to show you one of the ways that I like to use um, when I'm in a bit of a rush and I just want to cheat it. So I don't know that this is the best way to do this, but this is a way that I've done it lots of times um, when I'm just looking to get something to match the page, um, especially if I'm replacing one form with another. So what I'm going to show you is if you go to components forms, remember that contact us form we built? Well, I can make it look completely different by going to edit fields. And then all I have to do is add an HTML area. I'm going to call it form style. And then just the same as I hid that field the other day, what I can do is I can add a whole new form style. Let's go look at the form now, just to make sure it's what you remember. And now I'm going to grab uh, just this one, form styles, yeah. I'm going to grab this, I'm going to drag it to the top, because it's just where I like to deal with this. I'm going to go properties. I'm going to put in a style tag. I'm going to put in a closing style tag. I'm going to look at them to make sure they're good because I screwed that up in the last video. And then I'm going to grab some CSS. Now I've already formatted this, but really all I did was I went to Google. I, uh, I Googled form CSS. I opened this one, I believe, and there's a bunch of different styles, and I'm going to grab this style right here. Um, I don't have mine quite perfect, but it's going to be close. Um, I don't have quite this much gap here, but I could add that if I needed to. Um, and then I'm going to grab the CSS. Right now, you actually will have to figure out a couple things. That's why I've, I've done this myself a little more manually, we'll say, so that it's ready to go. And then you just go to that style. Once you get your tag set up, and, and this should be fairly simple. All you're going to do is right-click Inspect. And you'll see, oh, there's the, the submit button, and its ID is, and you just grab that, and you know, that'll be the, the one that goes on the button in the hover. So I'm going to click update. And so you will have to do a little bit of work. You'll have to figure out what your IDs are, what your classes you want to use are. And you can do this, like I said, multiple different ways. I've already changed this out, so I've just pasted some in. We're going to click apply and then we're just going to refresh this form and what you immediately see is now I have a form that's this style and that really um, makes it easy for you to get a, a form that's styled the same as your site. Um, you will have to know a little bit of CSS um, but if you download the Atom text editor and you spend a couple minutes playing with this, you can get some very good looking forms very quickly. Um, and so I will show you one other form style that I've already got kind of saved, just so I can show you that this can change to, to meet whatever need. Again, same as the one you just watched, I've already gone through and and edited the CSS from the page that I showed you. So that it's just a matter of copy pasting right now. Um, 
if you want me to post the CSS that I just created somewhere or that I just edited uh, somewhere, just mark that in the comments below. But within a few seconds, the styling's done. I mean, if you hit that point where you're like, oh, I'm not sure that I think that's quite right. Oh, maybe, maybe I want this to be wider. Let's say 800, 850 sounds better. I'll update that, apply. I want this to just be a wider form. Oh, there we go, and there's my form. It is, um, it's pretty easy to get your head wrapped around the CSS, and I don't suggest you write this from scratch yourself. I honestly suggest you go find a site that has some good CSS examples, and then you just inspect the page to figure out which which IDs you want to use or which classes you want to use. And you go about editing the, the CSS to see what happens. But since most people aren't prepared to make a template right off the go, this is a good way if you've already got some familiarity with forms and with CSS for you to just kind of take over the form that you're specifically working with to make it have the same style as the rest of your site. And like I really like buttons that are like this. So this would be a form style that I'd use all, probably a lot of the time. Um, I did turn the labels back on when I was setting up for this, so that's why you're seeing the labels. Um, again, you could easily turn them off and you'll get this form looking super sharp. And you don't have to use all of the CSS from these examples either. I think this is form five, yeah. So if you just wanted that button, which was what made me think to do this video um, because they did a button just like that except with the colors slightly different for uh, a client because they didn't like the button that was on the initial form that I built because they'd had buttons like this before There you go, now you got that same button, but on the other style form. I think this looks really sharp. I would lose these labels again, because I think they make it look less clean. And you're at that point where you're moving forward with a really nice looking form and a button that matches the style of your site. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want more videos like this, definitely subscribe and hit the little bell if you want notifications. And, uh, if you saw something wrong or you saw something you'd like change or you have a grand protest about doing it this way, I love to learn from my audience as much as I love to learn from other sources. So just let me know. And love you. Take care.